Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I'm sharing a long-awaited and super crazy amount of requested video which is my filming setup but if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and become a part of my little nail family as well but first of all here in the corner you see like a little like side table with a little cactus thingy going on i do have like a subscriber count as well as you can see right here my husband actually made it for me i have some random hand creams always something to drink and that little artwork back there is actually made by my grandfather which i personally never knew because he sadly passed away when my mother was only 18. so yeah it's pretty cool that i pretty much inherited that piece i've loved it ever since i was young and my mom actually recently gave it to me just on forehand but yeah back to the setup so this is actually in my living room i have like an l-shaped room so i have a really nice like in the front of the house an extra area where i have my work desk and on the right is actually my husband's work desk since he works from home but yeah you just saw a little overview and let's just continue with the setup itself it is pretty much like a, a big collection of different things and it just works perfectly fine for me so i do have two led panels and a bigger led light that is just right behind the camera then on my setup itself i have my most used base and top coats some oils i have like my little like cotton round stacker thingy as well as some remover that kind of switches up weekly because i tend to use a lot of different removers there is an led light of pink jellock in the back as well but yeah let's just show you my little setup first this is like all of the items that i tend to use a lot so a lot of essence base coats top coats sc h m pjr nail care there is a ton but let's continue with all of the items that i actually use while recording and one of the like best items that i purchased was this color checker card this is the passport version the 2019 one it is quite expensive but it does make sure that the colors that you record are pretty much true to life and it just uh, like how do you explain that it kind of like settles all of these settings and make sure that everything looks good you know <laughs> also i do record on a little scrapbook paper background you can get them at any bookstore or like supply store like craft kind of items um, i just pick out some random booklets myself i do have the bigger papers i think these are like 30 by 30 centimeters or even bigger i'm not quite sure but that is just what i use and i tend to switch them up depending on what nail polishes i'm using but let's get into the camera itself so i use the sony a6400 as uh, at least the body and i do have a big big macro lens on there i also have a smaller lens i don't really use it that often because the auto autofocus is a little bit like slower and it makes a lot of noise even though i do delete all of the noise that i actually uh, record while doing my nail art videos and such but um, i am planning on doing some more like face videos as well maybe even some makeup stuff so i am actually planning on getting a second camera um, probably the same body but i'm going to try out some other lenses as well but yeah here you can see uh, as like on a side view the led light that is actually uh, behind my camera you can see my lens a little better as well as the entire overhead rig that my camera actually like hangs on to i'd say um i actually got this from my husband's uh foster dad um he's always done a lot of photography work and such and he was planning on getting rid of this rig and i was still looking into getting a really sturdy one that wouldn't shake up a lot anytime a cat would like run onto my desk or anything so it was actually perfect timing because when i was planning on getting this camera and all of the items that i just showed you um i didn't have a very sturdy overhead rig so yeah i actually got this one 
it is really really decent it's really really nice i've got no idea if it's still available because he's had it over like 30 years i'd say um so yeah it's actually pretty decent oh and the little like round like knob on the side as you can see right there where i just pulled that little cable from which is actually my loading like battery loader cable so i can actually charge my battery while recording as well that little knob on the side on the right is actually to um Put my camera higher or lower towards the surface where I'm recording if you know what I mean but yeah it works really really well and yeah if you are looking for a good overhead rig I'm sorry I don't know where to get this because it is really old it's really old school but it's so sturdy it works wonders but yeah back to the other lights that I use these are just two really nice LED panels I can actually set up how um, bright or intense I want the light to be so if I want it to be a little bit more soft I can just adjust it as well as the Kelvin like degrees I'd say or at least that's how we call it here in the Netherlands so if I want it to be very white light I set it up to 60 or 5600 I usually set it to 5500 because I feel like it's super bright but it doesn't like change up the colors while recording but yeah I've got two of those and I've just got some like cabling going on back there as well as my pink gel lock LED lamp that I use all the time whenever I do gel swatches or a gel manicure then here on the right I actually got some new nail polish racks I just got them at AliExpress these were like 10 euros each you have them in like all different like amounts of little like steps I'd say I just got the one with the five little trays and I've got a ton of polishes on there that I still want to use some Essie, some Zoya, some Pink Jellock and so on. On this side I also have some boxes with some items that I still want to use or review. I'm actually planning on doing some glitter mixes. Um, so yeah, that's why there are a ton of bags of glitter. And there on the far far right there was also my little like paper like station I'd say. With like my agenda, my schedules, all that jazz. But yeah, that is pretty much my little setup. The desk itself is actually a kitchen countertop from Ikea. And I do have like some um, table legs underneath for some extra sturdiness. And a couple of Alex cabinets as well. So I have one for myself on the left where I actually have all of my backup stuff. Like my cotton rounds, um, all of my base and top coats when it comes to gel. But yeah, this was my entire setup. I really hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.